Businesses around the fire got to rise. Doro Apartments in downtown Jacksonville, they are feeling the effects from being closed. They're losing money. They can't operate now because they're in the collapse zone. Crews are preparing to demolish the apartment building after the city gave it the word to take that massive structure down. The Rise Doro property, it sits along nearly 1.4 acres of A. Philip Randolph Boulevard between Adams and Forsyth Streets. Surrounding roads and businesses have been closed because the building could potentially collapse. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joining us live. Khalil, you spoke with the vice president of one of those nearby businesses. Enjoy the vice president of Manifest Distilling says he wishes they were still open to be serving the community, but he says he's thankful that his business, which is only separated by a street from those apartments, is still standing. It's um, devastating. Jim Webb, the vice president of Manifest Distilling, is describing what the fire that burned in this building means to the city. You know, it hurts me the most is, you know, like I'm a big downtown proponent and we were so excited the momentum that this project was building that is now going to be delayed. The fire in Rise Doro Apartments began Sunday evening and burned for days. Thursday afternoon, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department was still pouring water on hot spots in the building. The structure has been deemed unsafe and at a risk of collapse. Because of that, roads and businesses surrounding the property are closed. Webb says costing them thousands of dollars. Just a minute or two ago, you mentioned like you guys are out of thousands. So can you estimate how many thousands you could be out of? I mean, I don't want to think on my feet on that. But if you just think of um, we're going to be paying employees not to work, you know, that that adds up very quickly. Like there was an Iceman game last night. Iceman won five to two, I think. It was a great game. So we missed out on, on the before and after of that. Webb also says when the fire happened, they were in the middle of a rum production, which is now stalled. He says they don't know if the rum was damaged by the smoke, but it's something they won't know until they're allowed back in the building to check. He also says although the distillery is closed, he's not mad. He's happy his employees will still get paid, his building is still standing, and that JFRD worked as hard as they did. They're heroes. I don't want to um, sound dramatic, but they kept this fire from spreading to our building and other buildings around. And Webb says if anyone wants to support his business and intuition, which is next to theirs, he is asking you to go to bars in Jacksonville and order their products. Reporting live, Clil Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station. Clil, thank you.